In this video, we'll use multiple SketchUp tools to make a table with tapered legs. Click on the Rectangle tool, click on the Origin, and then type 6 foot, comma, 3 foot. Note that we have to include the foot symbol because the default is inches. If we put 6, 3, we get a rectangle 6 inches by 3 inches. Then hit Enter. Click on Push Pull and push it up. Type 2 for 2 inches and it will adjust to that. Select it all, right click, and make it a group because we don't want anything to stick to it. Orbit underneath and let's put some guidelines here so that we have something to align the legs with. Click on the tape measure, hover over an edge, with the left mouse key depressed, drag it down and then type 2 and repeat on all sides. Again, I'm hovering over the edge until I see that edge pop up. Drag it up, type 2. Now take the rectangle tool again, click it on that intersection, drag a square, and then type 4, 4. And that gives us a square 4 inches by 4 inches. Select it, and let's make a component out of it. We can right click and choose Make Component, or we can select this and click here on this tool, the Make Component tool. I'm just going to right click and say Make Component, and I'm going to call it Leg. None of this is relevant to us in this case and then click Create. Make sure that this is checked. Now let's copy this. Again, this has to be selected. Click on the Move tool, hold the Control key down, and slide it over until it clicks into that intersection. And then do it again. I'm holding the Control key, and I'm holding the Control key again. A component is similar to a group with one big difference. When you open it to edit, all your edits will affect all instances of the component, that is all copies of it. So I'm going to push pull and let's make this three feet. And those look a bit chunky, so let's taper them. Click the Scale tool onto it, hold the Control key to taper evenly about the center, and then click on the workspace to exit the editing box. Go to Edit and Delete Guides since we don't need them anymore. Let's throw some paint on here. Under Materials, let's look for Wood. Here are choices. We can also bring in our own choices, but I'm going to click on Plywood Knots and apply the paint outside the group and components. Let's throw some shadows on here. If I go to View, Shadows, the shadows look weird because the table is below the origin. So I will move it above the origin and the shadow looks better. I can adjust the shadow for time of day and year. 
Oh, I forgot something. I want to bevel the tabletop. So first I'm going to turn off the shadows because working with shadows can slow the model down. I'm going to open up the component box and then draw a profile for the bevel. That's what the bevel will look like. I hit the escape key to end that line. Now with the box still open, I'm going to select the bottom of the table and that means that the follow me tool, which I'll use next, will use the perimeter as the edge to bevel. Now I'll click follow me and it looks like the highlighting went away, but it really didn't. I'm going to click on that and see that? There's the bevel and there you have it.